Hey everyone, Pelican Tacos here. Let's get started on our summon command. You guys want to learn a little bit more about how to summon stuff? Let's do it. Well, first of all, we got to go to our command block. So, ready to do that? Let's do that. Here's our command block. Ah, no, not really. Let's not go to that one. <laughs> all right, let's do it. So, here we go. Let's uh, put our command block down. Boom, there it is. And let's just talk about, uh, you know, how to actually summon some stuff. So when we, uh, let's bring it up first of all, just to bring it, make it a little bit easier on ourselves. So we're going to summon something. And inside the command prompt, it's a little bit easier to do the summon here because if I type in P, I hit tab and tab again, pig, painting, prime TNT, pig, zombie, painting, prime TNT, and so forth. So let's spawn a pig. And the next set of data is the X and Y and Z coordinates. So if you recall, these little teal day, teal day, all day things, these are relative to your position. So if I want him one X away, and I'll just do one high and one away as well, this will spawn our pig. And I hit done, boom. Object successfully summoned. Now I'm facing the wrong, ah, pig. Hey, what's up, pig? How are you? <laughs> all right, so we do that again. Boom, another one right on top of each other. Boom, get out of there. <laughs> All right, boom, move him. You really want more, you do. And there's another one. All right, so pretty stinking cool. <laughs> okay. All right, so we can even do different things here. Let's do some bad guys. I'm going to put it into easy here. And let's summon a pig at one away and then now we're going to start talking about doing what's called a writing tag here writing and then we do brackets curly brackets id and then do a pig zombie <laughs> so right let's get the curly brackets all in order boom there is a pig on top ah <laughs> literally is a zombie pig man how cool is that <laughs> it's pretty awesome huh? all right so let's do that again what else can we get? Mad nah, pig. We want a pig. So we can take it back and do it the other way around. <laughs> Looks like he's controlling the pig. That's hilarious. So let's do a... Uh, what should we do? Any ideas? Skeleton. And that skeleton is going to be riding a pig. Boom. There it is. Look. Hey. And then, of course, he's on fire. All right. Because he doesn't have a helmet. But you know what? We can fix that. Ready? Let's do that. Let's come on over here. If we do summon and we type in skeleton and let's put him, let's do negative one because I want him to be in front of me. Negative one, negative one. And we're going to do what's called equipment. Now equipment uses regular brackets and there are five different sections here. First one is for what's in his hand. Second one believe is his chest and that should be his legs that one should be his feet and this one would be his head so we're going to do ID 310 and what this will do is we'll put um, him on uh, with a helmet and he's still going to be riding our good and trusty pig and you got to make sure all the brackets are in there got enough brackets there boom there he is so now he is riding a pig with a diamond helmet. Pretty sweet. What's up, man? How are you? Yeah, you stink too. You got a skeleton on your back. <laughs> All right. What else can we do? All right. So let's do this. And now what we're going to do is we're going to give him a custom name. So if we just type in custom name and let's give our character, what should we name him? Skelebob. <laughs> All right, Skelebob's coming to town. Boom, there he is. And then now I rest over him, and he is Skelebob. What's up, Skelebob? <laughs> nice. Awesome. All right, what else can we do? We want to have him, let's say, hmm. Oh, you know what? My code's getting really long right now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it all. It's a good time here to put it into, what's up, dude? <laughs> into a command block here. Because uh, command blocks aren't really limited by the length here. So uh, he's going to have a diamond helmet. And then what else should we do? Let's make him 
354, carry a cake. So I'll get my button here. Boom, boom. Hey, what's up? He's got a cake. How is the cake, Skillabob? <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> this is awesome. All right, cool. That is Skillabob. So, a couple other cool things. Let's go over here and do another command block here. All right, so you want to see what else we can spawn? Let's do this, all right? So we're going to summon. Uh, let's do a slime here. And again, we'll make his position somewhat relative to me. We're going to have him riding a slime. Riding. What should he be riding? A slime. <laughs> Getting the idea here. Pretty crazy. And that slime is going to be riding a slime. Notice there are quotes around it. And you got to be careful to count your curly brackets. We got one, two, three, three open. One, two, three, four open. So we'll have four closed. Boom. There it is. Look at that. What up? <laughs> it's like the dude. It's like those caterpillar things from Mario Brothers. That's awesome. Look at that, slimes. Isn't that cool? They're riding each other. Nice. What's up, slime? <laughs> All right, so let's bring that up again. And we will control copy it and we're going to put it into our command block here. Not that one. This one. Boom. And there it is. So when we get my button, boom. What's up, guys? Boom. Keep on coming. Boom. <laughs> How awesome is that? That's so cool. Nice. Got caterpillars all over the place. Boom, you can create your own custom monsters this way. Isn't that sweet? All right, what else can we do? Let's do, let's summon Mushroom Cow. Good idea. All right, and then we will summon him here. Boom, and we're going to make him invulnerable. If I can spell it right. Boom. Now, if I come in here and I get my sword... And I try to hurt my cow, my mushroom cow. He's invulnerable. Pretty awesome, huh? If I come over here, you'll notice that I hit these guys and they will get hurt. But if I come back here to my cow, he is invulnerable. Pretty awesome. All right, so you can add that in there as well into your command. Uh, let's see, should we do it with a squid? See what happens when we do it with a squid. Oop, unable to spell it wrong. Yeah, I think I gotta put caps here. Boom, there it is. And he is not getting hurt. How cool is that? There's an invulnerable squid. I can't hurt him, and he will not die from the sunlight. Oh, no, watch out. It's Skelebob with the cake. I bet the Skelebob with the cake can get the squid. <laughs> All right, what else can we do? Let's keep going. All right, what else can we do? Let's summon some fireballs. Wouldn't it be cool if we could actually, like, shoot fireballs from our fists, kind of like... Ryu, Hadouken. All right, let's do it. So first things first, you have to really pay attention to your X and Y and Z coordinates here. So notice here, uh, let's kind of get to a more neutral position here. So I am going, as I move forward, my Z is going down. So that means it's going negative, right? My Z is going negative. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to summon and I'm going to do a fireball and I'm gonna do it in my Z direction as I'm going down. So remember, it's negative one away from me. If the Z was going up, it would be positive one. And I'm gonna summon this in an array here of decimals, and I gotta do, that's for the X, this is for the Y, and this is for the Z. And so remember, it was negative, so let's just do a speed of negative two in the Z way, and let's see, I'll probably end up hitting this pig. Let's try it. Boom, there it is, I just totally, Blew the pig. So let's see if I can hit a slime here. Boom, there it goes. I am now shooting fireballs from, now notice I'm staying in this position. I'm facing north, because with north, that's the changing of the Z. Whereas if I turn around and face south and I do it again, uh, it shot out from behind me. <laughs> All right, I ate something bad today. All right, so let's do this. Now for facing south, it's going to be again in your Z 
and it's going to be positive this time. So if I do this, it'll shoot forward. Does that make sense? So if I'm facing west, my x is decreasing. If I'm facing east, my x is increasing. So if I, let's face east or west, can you figure out what the code's going to be? Want to try it for yourself? All right, let's try negative five. Let's see how fast that goes. And we're gonna do negative one. Boom, super fast. Boom. And let's just get rid of all these slimes. I'll just take them out all day. Remember, this is only changing your X and your Y. So let's see if we can do some target practice. Boom, <laughs> pretty cool. Now notice they're not very strong. Took like three fireball fire charges to get that. So let's see if it makes a difference being close up. Uh, apparently, there it goes. Ah, just <laughs> myself. All right, so that's an idea there. As you can start messing with some of the the tags and everything with the directions and the fireballs, and that that's pretty cool because it actually starts um, getting in some math there if you're interested with the x and the y and z directions. So quite a bit of the summon command there, right? It's just pretty awesome what you can do and uh, would really love for you to experiment. Well, one of the things you're going to need to know is the Minecraft ID list, and that's a good thing to search for online is to look for all those IDs because it does make it a little bit easier. You know, with the newer updates, you've got the Minecraft actual names that you can put in. But for the armor, like putting the armor on the Skelebob, you know, that's got to be an actual number, so you got to call up 310. So... Um, that's what you have to make sure you're doing that. So, but that's pretty much it. You can become a summon ninja. How about that? Summon ninja. Do it. Start creating a whole bunch of creatures. And the cool thing is, you don't need a dispenser anymore. Now you've got command blocks, and they're so much better, aren't they? So, good luck, guys.